Good afternoon, this is Dr. Roth back for another lecture. Today we are going to discuss the intervertebral foramen of spinal anatomy. So the first question is what is an intervertebral foramen? Intervertebral foramen is the hole that the spinal cord exits from the spinal column and goes from the central nervous system and turns into the peripheral nervous system via nerve roots and peripheral nerves that course throughout the body. What do these look like? This is an intervertebral foramen. 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 Can you get it? Intervertebral foramens, uh, where are they located? Intervertebral foramens, or the holes through which the spinal cord leaves the spinal column and turns into nerves, are located from the cervical spine, from the neck, all the way down through the thoracic spine, the mid-back, into the lumbar spine, the low back, and into the sacrum, the very low back. The only part of the spine that does not have intervertebral foramens is at the bottom of the occiput, or the back of the skull, and between that and the first neck bone, and also between the first and second neck bone. And I'll show you what I mean here. We don't have an occiput here. All we have is a C2. There's a C1 sitting on top of this, no intervertebral foramens. Uh, now the size of the intervertebral foramens varies from the neck all the way down. It starts small and gets larger as you go. Okay, so it starts at anywhere about five millimeters, uh, a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller in the top of the neck, and goes all the way down to as large as 18 millimeters in the low back for one of the holes, okay? So you can, as you can tell, that's a pretty big difference from here in the neck, intervertebral foramen gradually getting bigger as you go down, all the way down to up to 18. Uh, so how about the function of an intervertebral foramen and then the specific anatomy? Function, uh, these, the, the hole actually changes size with movement. So when you lean forward, as you can see, the hole gets bigger. When you lean back, it gets smaller. That can have pretty uh, significant amount of clinical relevance. Uh, when It can tell you uh, specifically how to diagnose and therefore treat certain conditions. So if you are leaning forward and it feels better and then you lean back and it feels worse, that could possibly tell you, among other things, that there is a nerve root compression or something, some, some type of blockage in the intervertebral foramen. Okay? Uh, finally, specific anatomy of the intervertebral foramen. Okay? Um, you have six parts that make up the intervertebral foramen and we are going to look at T12 L1 okay it's just so you have an idea where we are at in the spine what makes up the intervertebral foramen you have the bottom of the T12 pedicle you have the back of the T12 vertebral body you have the back of the T12 L1 disc you have the top of the L1 vertebral body. You have the top of the L1 pedicles. And you have the zygapophyseal joint. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is what makes up the anatomical osseoligamentous structure of the intervertebral foramen. Next time we'll be discussing the nerves, arteries, veins, and other tissues coming in and out of the intervertebral foramen. Thank you very much. Look forward to speaking to you in my next lecture.